The EQP114 battery and electrical system test unit is used to quickly and accurately perform a 12 volt automated battery test and the related ground, starter and alternator tests. These results can be used by the technician to inform his customer of the state of the battery and circuits during a scheduled service or specific diagnostic procedure. These results can be printed on the integrated printer or may be stored on a PC and printed externally. We will now look at the examples of the EQP114 functions to demonstrate the ease of performing these tasks. The most commonly used test is for battery load and condition, but prior to performing this test, there are precautions to ensure accurate results. Firstly, please ensure the engine has been switched off for a while before carrying out this battery test. And all loads and accessories are switched off if an on-car test is to be performed. Connecting the EQP114 to the battery posts and not the battery terminals will ensure an accurate test on the battery itself and eliminate any poor connections. The EQP114 uses the battery to be tested as its power source. So when the unit is connected, it will run through the self-test before displaying the main menu to guide the technician to the relevant next step. The technician has a choice of three options. Clear the memory and begin a new test, or continue testing on the same vehicle from where the last test has stopped, or view and print results to review or print the results of the last tested vehicle. Now it's time to carry out a battery test. Pressing enter will allow the technician to select the type of battery that is to be tested. The next step is to select the rating system that is used for this battery, which is found stamped on the battery to be tested. This allows the technician to key in the actual battery rating to the test unit by following the screen directions and using the relevant touch pad buttons. This action allows for accurate results based on the comparison of the battery actual condition compared to the rating of when it was new. Within five seconds of starting the test, the comparison CCA rating the voltage and the battery life expectancy given as a percentage is recorded on the screen and can be printed or saved with the result of the battery condition given as a good or replace. Printing the result is as easy as pressing a button and that completes the battery test. Returning to the main menu will allow the technician to select another test if required. Now let's look at the grounding test. By scrolling down, we can now select the required new test. The technician is required to move the EQP114 earth clamp from the battery post to a suitable engine or chassis point to carry out the ground test. Once this has been carried out, pressing enter will analyze the results. Once the analysis has been completed, the technician is required to reattach the EQP114 earths clamp back to the battery negative post. The technician is now required to press enter as requested on the screen, which will allow the test unit to analyze the results. The results are displayed as a simple OK or high ohms to allow the technician to carry out any other tests 
or procedures if required. This will only occur when the procedure is carried out correctly. A failed procedure will be indicated on the screen and will have to be re-performed. At this point, printing the result is achieved by pressing the print button. Or the results may be saved externally. For the next test, it is important that the battery is fully charged. When selecting the starter test from the main menu, there are safety precautions which need to be observed as the engine needs to be cranked over and started. The screen will display instructions to carry out this test. If the voltage drop during cranking is acceptable, the screen will indicate the readings and an acceptable result. If the voltage drop is excessive during cranking, then a high drop result will be displayed on the screen. Now the technician would be required to perform another test to determine where the fault lies. Again, at this point, the result can be printed or saved externally. For the last test, again, the engine is to be started and safety precautions need to be observed. From the main menu, the alternator test can be selected. That requires both a no load and a load test for accurate results. During the no load test, the instructions are displayed on the screen and will require the engine to be operated at 3000 RPM for 10 seconds and then back to idle. By selecting enter again, the result will be displayed as either good, low charge or high charge. The load test now needs to be performed and again the screen will display instructions to carry out this test. For this test all available electrical loads must be activated so the EQP114 can monitor the alternator behaviour under this condition. The captured information will be displayed on the screen. The result will then be displayed and printing or saving the information is again available if required. Finally, the EQP114 can also assist the user in further understanding functions by utilising the help key found on this unit.